feel because of the education which they obtain those who are watching are also part of tedx season let me take you through a small reel which showcases how ideas are spread It takes place every Let day to a small in every corner of the world, out. in schools, in theatres, in workplaces, even in prisons. People gather to hear the best ideas bubbling up in their communities. More than 3,000 TEDx events are held every year in 170 countries. It's a remarkable thing. TEDx events are self-organized under a license from TED, a non-profit organization devoted to discovering and sharing powerful ideas in the form of TED Talks. It's not TED itself, but your local TEDx team of volunteers that has done all the work to put on today's event, including booking all of the speakers. It's this team's ideas, dedication, and time that have made this possible. We really hope today's program sparks an exciting conversation. This is a day for curiosity, and for skepticism, for inspiration, and for action. The more you enter into it, the more you will take out. And now, on with the show. Thank you, Mr. Sai, for the curtain raiser. Education has never been confined to the four walls of a classroom. In this holy land, we have been taught Acharya Devo Bhava, Aditi Devo Bhava. Here, we have our Aditis as Acharyas to share what life, the biggest university ever, has taught them. It's a privilege to listen to an IAS officer whose identity is the array of projects he has implemented for the well-being of the people around him. I take the pleasure in inviting Mr. Jainivas, the Collector and District Magistrate, Sri Kakulam, Andhra Pradesh. Sir, please. Uh, sir, uh, sir, please unmute yourself, sir. Give us, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good morning, everybody. Am I visible and also audible? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay, okay, right. Yeah. So, a very good morning to all of you and uh, Vice Chancellor, sir, Register, sir, and uh, Dr. Rajesh and uh, the entire team behind this event and uh, Sai Anand and uh, my beloved students of uh, Kalasalingam University. A very good morning to you all. I'm very happy to be a part of this event and uh, very happy to note that this event is being organized by the students and uh, I really appreciate the leadership uh, you know, straight taken by the students in organizing this event. I'm very happy to note that. Let me start my speech with a survey that was conducted in the year 2019. In the year 2019, a survey was conducted by Asim Premji University and Lok Niti, an independent organization. The survey was about the most trusted institutions of India. And the, the survey results have come like this. The first trusted institution is the Indian Army, and then the Supreme Court, and then the High Court, and then the, in the fourth place stood the institution of the district collector. And also it is important to note that it is the last, uh, in the last uh, uh, place was, uh, I mean, uh, stood by the government's servants. So the survey showed that there is a clear distinction between two institutions, one institution of the district collector, which is time-tested and which is having the the trust of the people, 
and whereas there is a still there is lot of uh, you know there is a bad image about the government servants now why this has happened now what is the reason for people having so much trust of this institution we have to uh, just look back into history this institution of collector created in the year 1772 by warren hastings has stood over the test of time for over close to 250 years and the main reason for this after indian independence has been the selection process done by the upsc and uh, the selection process of upsc is that they continuously evolve themselves and keep themselves with the trend now if we funnily say that upsc thinks like a student like a small example like as a student mindset we would always like to when we read we like to omit certain areas uh, you know thinking that these areas are non important and questions will not be asked and when you go to upsc question paper exactly this the questions will be asked from those areas which you omitted so the success of upsc i could say is that they think like a student and they are always young now having said that when the uh, upsc result is out every year you can see that there are very inspiring stories like people coming from very humble background people who have read from you know not in great institutes people who have read through correspondence courses and literally struggled hard in the life through a part time job they were also able to clear the ias and also there are people like who have been completed from iits and iims they are also clearing the ias and there are still people who are graduated from iits and iim still not able to get into ias now why why this has happened so what is the secret of upsc i mean why AP, upsc is able to give this level playing field my dear friends the the preparation process of upsc everyone has to understand to uh, understand this level playing field the upsc preparation process itself it requires a candidate to have main qualities like perseverance sustained hard work and an ability to do and to do the best in the challenges which they face and uh, my dear friends these three qualities which we used to prepare for our upsc exam and it is very helpful for us in our day to day administration and uh, and this is the reason i would say the uh, the main success for this institution as a district collector now i would like to uh, state you uh, a small example but, i mean and then i will be able to clarify properly you we all have seen this corona pandemic which has been with us for the last 8 months when the thing started you know there are people who have commented that india will not be able to tackle up to this challenge is going to be a disaster and the western countries with the systems they're going to handle it better and then uh, you know it's it's a doomsday for us you know in the start we were also fearing that how we are going to able and uh, to handle the situation and uh, you know there were days when we had thousand cases reporting every day and also we had uh, we were having around 6 to 7 deaths per day so those were really tough times but my dear friends the preparation of upsc that you have to do your hard work you have to be you know uh, you have to be with perseverance and continue to do whatever you are uh, doing the best and that has helped me in reaching today's situation where our district in the last 40 days we have witnessed you know around 21 zero death days and we were able to successfully treat 45056 patients with a casual rate with a death rate of around 0.7% which means 99.3% people who have infected with corona have been saved and this was possible i would say and i am again very proud that it was possible because of the great women force the mahila shakti that is behind this i mean why i would say this because if you see from the grassroots level from the health worker who is an anm who is a female and from the staff nurse who is in the hospital and from the doctors almost 70% of the workforce who has handled this corona are female it's a women workforce 
and you can you can state uh, anywhere and you can see anywhere and this is the statistics so i'm really proud that our women have been in the forefront of tackling this corona so you know the the sustained hard work i mean why i would say the sustained hard work is that the ias you know once you get into ias people say that you you get into ias and then you are your uh, uh, your life is going to be great and then you are going to be having a very uh, you know uh, a very luxurious and life uh, my dear friends situation is not that so every day and do particularly during these challenges you have to put the hard work and every day is a different day like during this last 3 months which has been very critical for us the last 90 days and almost i had visited the icu for the almost around out of 90 60 days i had personally visited this icu i mean this was possible due to our training and then the preparation days which uh, you know with the the same qualities which we used in our preparation my dear friends so always this uh, please uh, any achievement that it doesn't come through a kind of a overnight uh, this never comes through and uh, there may be one one or two instances where one can become a uh, you know for uh, in the media for attention for one or two days but my dear friends overnight victories are never you know a part and it can only come through a sustained hard work so let us you you have to put your uh, uh, you know uh, go on with the same sustained hard work and definitely your days are going to come now i would like to uh, you know there are also there are there is a view that in the government system the things are very tough to change and the things are not going to change and uh, you know uh, the systems are going to remain like that so but where we have attempted certain things and we are able to get success in that and that was possible due to three main reasons that you should have a proper idea and you should have an innovative strategy and then you should have a proper standardization of the procedures these three things my dear friends are integral to any plan or any scheme which you are going to implement i would like to start with an example in my career in my second posting i was posted to a tribal area where uh, you know the health uh, service access was a big uh, problem and so much so that around 70 to 80% of the deliveries used to happen at the home and uh, in this resulted in many infant mortalities and also sometimes maternal mortalities also so we went into the root, root cause of the problem why this is happening the small reason for this is that there is no reliable transport facility available at the right time for the pregnant mothers so what we implemented was a small system a 24 by 7 call center 24 by 7 ambulance system and also an it system which records any call that is made to the system and sends an alert to all the field functionaries from the health worker up to the project officer and also the driver and the doctor so the moment the call comes everyone will get an alert message the driver goes to the spot picks up the uh, women and then comes to the phc in meantime due to the information everybody is uh, ready and then the safe delivery is conducted so while we started this program we were very apprehensive because it's a tribal area we had less than 50% of the literacy rate and we we are worried whether the tribals will be able to remember the number because we didn't have a fancy call center number at that time and uh, we were really apprehensive and then slowly the call started coming and people started using the service and uh, My dear friends, within three years of this implementation of the program, we were able to conduct eleven thousand safe deliveries through this program, and uh, we could save around eleven thousand, and we could conduct safe. Uh, uh, we could make a safe situation for both the mother and child for around eleven thousand deliveries. Now, why I say is that in the IAS there is huge amount of scope, there is a scope of improvement, and also, you know, the 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 small thing which you you uh, change which are going to do is going to impact large amount of people and it's going to change the lives of forever so uh, that is the beauty of the ia system my dear friends a lot of people will say that there are uh, you know you you have a lot of political compulsions and all those things and money is not an issue and if and please believe that money is the last obstacle i would say it's all that required is one indomitable will and also sustained hard work and uh, i would like to quote my second example 
of while i was a vijayawada uh, municipal commissioner like now you have been hearing of uh, you know smart cities program that is being projected by the government of india and for me a smart city is one which is able to deliver its uh, basic functions to the basic uh, uh, needs of the it is able to cater to the basic needs of a citizen in its in the corporation like if you see if if i ask you if you ask a question among yourselves how many of you have used a public toilet and the answer would be maximum around 20 to 30% and that too under unavoidable circumstances this may be a small thing i mean a public toilet but imagine can we call our cities smart cities where i am not even able to give a proper access to a proper toilet to my citizen of around a million people can i call myself smart so this question was thronging my head and then then we decided that you know the public toilet system we are going to make this change why can't this change happen why should always be like okay public toilets are going to be bad it's going to be stinking there's going to be no light no water supply why can't we change it so then i started visiting i visited almost all the public toilets 72 public toilets that is available in my corporation i understood that the basic reason this problem is the is because of the due to the flaw flawed in the design so as an engineer so it is my turn to set right also and then so we decided to have a standardized design for all the toilets and also we made all the concealed pipelines and we used quality fittings my dear friends we used all the jaguar fittings and please believe me there are there is only a 20% cost escalation due to the quality but till today my toilets are running in both my schools and also in my public toilet without a single repair and this was possible and it's because it's just an idea and it's only an implementation mechanism that is required and a proper design proper idea and proper implementation that was all required and uh, due to that uh, the corporation uh, stood as the cleanest million city and uh, uh, and it was awarded by the government of india and uh, lastly i would like to conclude we have come to the close of uh, this conference my dear friends so the time is very short though uh, would like to uh, spend much with you uh, only one i would like to close uh, my speech by uh, telling you a small example i mean in the olden days when the maharajas used to uh, have a tour of the city and uh, you know they are always used to be seated on an elephant and similarly when the maharajas used to go to war they were also been seated on the elephants now do we do we imagine why i mean do you think why it was an elephant that was chosen if suppose it is the tallest animal that could have been uh, chosen then it should be the giraffe and uh, uh, then they they neither choose any other animal why an elephant is because my dear friends when a, a king starts from his palace to take a tour and he when he is seated on the elephant and when he is walking down the corridors of the street a lot of dogs will start barking at the elephant they'll start disturbing this elephant and a, all along the way when the elephant moves the dogs will bark at the elephant but my dear friends this elephant doesn't pay any heed to those dogs who, who are barking and then it makes a safe passage for the king until the king you know gets down from the uh, throne and on the top the elephant maintains its calm composure and why i say this is that my dear friends you are all elephants there are people there will be people coming on your way who bark at you you say they say that you you cannot do it suppose you start a business they say it is not for you you do you are taking a big risk and it's not going to suit for you so please always remember this elephant story and you are all elephants you are all born to win neglect all those negativities and every day there will be small kind of disturbances that will be coming my dear friends every day you will be you will be faced with highs and lows and depressions and please believe that your day is going to come and you have to just walk along the path neglecting this barking and always please make sure that your goal is set high and walk along the corridor with hope and also a sustained hard work and believe in yourself my dear friends you are born to rule nothing is going to stop you you are the elephants and you are going to walk towards the path of path of the success very soon and all the best to all of you and i pray god for all your success and all the best to you thank you 
Thank you, sir. It was awesome listening to you and your experiences. Thank you for sharing your experiences with us. Learning is at its fullest when a 38-year-old Chinalapati homemaker turns out to be a successful entrepreneur. It's none other than the quilling artist, Mrs. Gunavadi Chandrasekharan. Ma'am, over to you. Vanakkam, in order pair Gunavadi Chandrasekhar, in order sunda urnu pating na Nindukal district larekar Chinnalapatti ingra Chinna ur. Appa danga urle first doctor, renda anna oray ponne abin soli romba chellama valatanga niya. Naanu doctor kanu gulorda valandu vande. So unfortunately or maybe fortunate in pras solala na ande enak romba Chinna waistle kalyana ayirche. ये नमारे चिन्ना वेस्ला कल्याण पनी अच्छा आगे अभी नहीं केटिंग ना ओन एंड ऑफ इयर्स अर्थ मोड़ आई वाज स्ट्रक बाय फोलियो सो आपका योग्य शुरू ना इन्दमारी ओर पोने को बंदे एजुकेशन रोम्बा मुख्य माइला लाइफ पार्टनर रोम्बा मुख्य माबी नियोग्य शुरू ना आवरोड़ पॉइंट ऑफ यू लंद पाक Pohon itu tu lihat, pating na, orang ini inilah sah. Ina mandor romba sisters mari patik tangga. Ina orang caring ana husband ina ker. Rende daughters, romba cute ana rende daughters ina ker. So life mandor romba smooth ada poi terusce. Okay smooth ada nengah poi terusce. Ina nengah la perasa suara sih ker. Abi ini soli kekering la. Ama, nang ini dr parka ada nairat la. Romba periye orang visio, ina tali lagi di mari mandi berenda de. Anu visio ina life aye mandor abdi poroti poi terusce. Abi ini nasi solano. Anu kapro life aye abdi nakat koro abdi ingre ini teri la. Nang nang la per matu romba tanic cie. Ada pertama hari, orang feel yang lekar. So, orang orang kalau ni engkau nak kerjakan teri, ama walak kono abin solte. Nama orang husband orang nariya pesi ke pesi tu. Orang mari apa ni nak kalau ni engkau walak kerja dapat ni solte. Anja time la orang orang teri pon orang ni pada orang biasa, second orang orang teri biasa. So, orang orang la pak mau deh inna panah orang life la abin solte. Ydik kalau mai orang irin da mari orang feel. So, itu orang abin life orang ni nak kerja teri la abin orang orang mudik lama abin orang malah orang yos jo. So, when na abin solte, apamu nariya schedule panih orang mudik beritong orang final day orang mande deh. Anja day la terima orang ni yosik. ये इन द विषय तो अंदर एक वन ईयर को अंदर ताली पड़ा करा दे, सो ओके लाइफ अंदर इधर मुड़ चुकी है ना मुड़ी पनी अच्छी, ये वर्ष में ताली पड़ चुकी है ना आप निकल मारी योज्य, वन ईयर ताली पड़ो, सो अंदर मीन वाइल्ड पति ना ना हस्बैंड अंदर ऑलरेडी अंदर प्रिंटिंग एंड बाइंडिंग यूनिट बच्चे रन पनी ट्रक आंगा अदे पोग यूज्ड ग्राफिक मशीन सो इंपोर्ट पनी कुड़करा कंसल्टेंट आऊं इरिंदे ट्रक करे सो इन द रेंडे बिजनेस ले में वंदे ना अवर के हेल्प पनी इतना रन्ने सो आपो अवर डे फ्रेंड मोलमा और प्रपोजल � Let us search for the mission and the exact location and details, photos, collect and collect. If you look at the path, you can proceed to the mission and you can proceed to the mission. Okay, I have to send the visa letters out and then ticket book and rooms book and then we have to supply the agreement. So, if you look at that, I have to say that I have to say that I have to say English knowledge. So, if you go and get ready for the documents, you can get an abroad team. You can inspect the mission and get the mission satisfied. Then, you can get the mission and get the mission and get the mission. So, in this incident, I had a confidence in my life. I was told that we had a lot of budget missions in the 10th budget in Europe and India. I had a confidence in my life. So, now I am helping my husband in this business. So, anda ni kelihatan orang daughters ni, perlu orang kereta orang education, anda orang high studies pun dengar naga. So, orang orang kita macam ni help pun lah, nama saya lalu dia bincang tu, nariya orang orang help pun itu na. Rendu perempuan ramba nalla partu pada bangga, ramba nalla drawing berai bangga. So, orang orang second daughter pun dengar nalla orator, nariya speech competitions lah boh bangga. Adik pun, aduh matu lama orang orang kena na, na orang orang weekly orang orang mohon dengar dengar nari terawih orang stage area orang orang dia tarik for the day abang orang mari, orang two minutes lah orang stage le pace no operating orang mari yosi pang. So, orang orang kita kan, na orang orang nariya pelik orang orang cembuk reading out. Google search out, nariya panna ramc. So, adilnya na nariya knowledge untuk gain panik tapping solono. Awanggal kau edt anda motivational quotes solno, anda yenne orang life kau anda orang nariya motivate panic. So, ini dalam ini anda nak stepping stones aja iran dicce, ini orang life anda orang positive thoughts orang kondo korang ke. Apa ni kita dah, na anda ramah stronga believe panra. So, ini mari ramah happy a life anda poy ramc. Na orang husband ke inala orang nak help, anda ni orang daughters education panik ramda iran dalu. Ini kulla orang orang satisfaction illa ada mari orang feel. 
ஏன்னா நான் ஏதாவது இண்டிவிஜுவலாக நான் அச்சீவ் பண்ணணும் அப்படிங்கிற ஒரு தாட் வந்து எனக்குள்ளே இருந்துகிட்டே இருந்துச்சு அதுக்கு மெயினாக ஒரு ரீசனும் இருக்குது ஏன்னா நல்லா படிக்கிற பொண்ணு ரொம்ப சின்ன வயசுலேயே கல்யாணம் பண்ணி கொடுத்துட்டோம் அப்படின்னு சொல்லி என்னோடய அம்மாவுக்கு வந்து ரொம்ப ஒரு பெரிய கில்ட்டி ஃபீலிங் இருந்துகிட்டே இருந்துச்சு ஸோ அதுலேருந்து அவங்களை எப்படி வெளியில் கொண்டு வர்றது அப்படின்னா நான் எதாவது அச்சீவ் பண்ணால் மட்டும்தான் முடியும் அப்படின்னு நான் யோசித்தேன் அதை தாண்டி என்னோட ரெண்டு டாட்டர்ஸ்க்கு மட்டுமாவது நான் ரோல் மாடலாக இருந்துட மாட்டேனா அப்படிங்கிற ஒரு விஷயமும் எனக்கு உள்ள வந்து ஒரு உறுத்தல் இருந்துகிட்டே இருந்தது ஆனால் பட் எனக்கு எந்த வழியுமே அந்த நேரம் எனக்கு தெரியல அப்போ தான் ஃபேஸ்புக்கில் ஒரு போஸ்ட் பார்க்குறேன் என்னோட ஃப்ரெண்டு ஒருத்தவங்க போஸ்ட் பண்ணுறாங்க பேப்பர்லே பண்ண ஜிம்கி அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு ஒரு நாலஞ்சு ஜிம்கி போஸ்ட் பண்ணியிருந்தாங்க பார்க்க ரொம்ப அழகாக கலர்ஃபுல்லாக இருந்துச்சு ஓகேன்னு சொல்லிட்டு நெக்ஸ்ட் டே நானும் என்னோடய டாட்டரும் வந்துட்டு அவங்க வீட்டுக்கு ஜஸ்ட் ஒரு விசிட் பண்ணோம் அவங்க வந்து சொன்னாங்க இது மாதிரி இது வந்து பேப்பர் ஆர்ட்டு இப்போ இது வந்து குவில்லிங் அப்படின்னு சொல்லி சொல்லுவாங்க இதில் நிறைய வெரைட்டி ஆஃப் ஷேப்ஸ் இருக்குது சைஸஸ் இருக்குது ஸோ நம்மளோட க்ரியேட்டிவிட்டி தகுந்த மாதிரி இதை வந்து நம்ம வந்து ஒரு ஆப்ஜெக்டாக கொண்டு வரலாம் அப்படின்னாங்க ரொம்ப இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங்காக இருந்துச்சு கேட்குறதுக்கு என்னோடய டாட்ரு தான் வந்து கற்றுக்கிட்டாங்க நான் ஒரு அப்சர்வராக வந்துட்டு உட்காந்து பார்த்துட்டு இருந்தேன் ஸோ திரும்ப வீட்டுக்கு வந்ததுக்கப்புறம் அந்த லெஃப்ட் ஓவர் பேப்பர்ஸ் எல்லாம் வச்சுட்டு நானும் என்னோடய டாட்ரும் ஒரு ரெண்டு மூணு ஜிம்கி பண்ணோம் ரொம்ப அழகாக இருந்துச்சு சரி ஒரு சின்னதாக ஒரு வால் ஆர்ட் பண்ணலாமே அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு ஒரு பட்டர்ஃபை செஞ்சோம் என்னோடய ஹஸ்பண்ட் வந்துட்டு எல்லாமே ரொம்ப என்கரேஜ் பண்ணுவார் ஸோ அவர் அதை எடுத்துகிட்டு போய் ஃப்ரேம் பண்ணி கொண்டு வந்து கொடுத்தாங்க ஒரு டூ டேஸில் ஒரு ஃபேமிலி ஃபங்க்ஷனுக்காக நேட்டிவ் போக வேண்டியிருந்தது ஸோ அந்த ஃப்ரேம் எடுத்துகிட்டு போய் காட்டுறேன் எல்லோரும் ரொம்ப அப்ரிஷியேட் பண்ணாங்க எப்படி இவ்வளோ அழகாக பண்ணியிருக்க எவ்வளோ நல்லா பண்ணுற அப்படிங்கிற மாதிரி நிறையா அப்ரிஷியேட் பண்ணாங்க ஸோ என்னோடய அண்ணா வந்து என்ன பண்ணார்னா எனக்கு ஒரு ஃபார்ட்டி பீசஸ் வேணும் ஒரு ஒன் மந்த்ல எனக்கு ஒரு பேட்ச் மீட் இருக்குது இந்த மாதிரி எனக்கு செஞ்சு கொடுக்க முடியுமா அப்படின்னு சொல்லி கேட்டாங்க ஓகேண்ணா அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு அந்த ஆர்டர் எடுத்துகிட்டு நான் ஊருக்கு வந்துட்டேன் இந்த ஏர்லி ஸ்டேஜில் அந்த ஃபார்ட்டி பீசஸ்ங்கிறது அந்த ஒன் மந்த்ங்கிறது எனக்கு வந்து ரொம்ப டைம் ரொம்ப ஷார்ட்டாக இருந்துச்சு ஸோ நெய்பர் ஒருத்தவங்களை கூப்பிட்டு அவங்களுக்கு நான் ட்ரெயின் பண்ணி அவங்க கிட்டே இருந்து நானும் அவங்களும் உட்காந்து டே அண்ட் நைட் உட்காந்து அவங்க கேட்ட பீஸ் அண்ணா கொடுத்த ஆர்டரை வந்து எக்ஸாக்டாக முடிச்சு கொடுத்துட்டோம் ஸோ ஹஸ்பண்ட் என்ன பண்ணாங்க குணா ஸ்கில்லிங் அவரே ஒரு பேர் வச்சுட்டு பின்னாடி என்னோடய மெயில் ஐடி அண்ட் தென் ஒரு காண்டாக்ட் நம்பர் எல்லாமே போட்டு ஸ்டிக்கர் பண்ணி ஸ்டிக் பண்ணி கொடுத்துட்டாங்க ஸோ அது எங்கெல்லாம் ரீச் ஆச்சோ அத்தனை பேரும் எனக்கு கால் பண்ணி ரொம்ப எக்ஸலண்ட்டாக இருக்குது கலர் காம்பினேஷன்லாம் அவ்வளோ அழகாக இருக்குது இது என்ன ஆர்ட் அப்படிங்கிற மாதிரி நிறையா எனக்கு என்கொயரிஸ் வந்துகிட்டே இருந்துச்சு ஸோ அந்த நிமிஷம் நான் யோசிச்சது என்னென்னா ஓகே இது வந்து கிஃப்டிங் வந்து ஒரு நல்ல ப்ராடக்டாக இருக்குது ஏன் வந்து நம்ம இது ஒரு பிஸ்னஸாக எடுத்து பண்ணக்கூடாது அப்படின்னு சொல்லி தோணுச்சு அன்னைக்கு ஒரு ஒரு ஸ்டாஃபோட ஸ்டார்ட் பண்ண இந்த குணாஸ் வில்லிங் வந்து இன்றைக்கி ஒரு எயிட் ஸ்டாஃப்ஸ் வந்து எனக்கு அசஸ் பண்ணிகிட்டு இருக்காங்க ஸோ அது மட்டும் இல்லாமல் நிறைய ஸ்கூல்ஸ் அண்ட் காலேஜஸில் வந்து நான் இதை போய் நான் டீச் டீச் பண்ணி கொடுக்கறதுல ஸோ ஃபார் நான் டூ தௌசண்ட் ப்ளஸ் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் ஹவுஸ் ஒய்ஃப்ஸ்க்கு வந்து நான் இதை வந்து இது வரைக்கும் நான் வந்து ட்ரெயின் பண்ணியிருக்கேன் இதில் வந்து ஃபேமிலி சப்போர்ட்னு தாண்டி பார்த்தீங்கன்னா பப்ளிக்லேயும் எனக்கு நிறைய சப்போர்ட் இருந்துட்டுக்கு நிறையா மீடியா வந்து என்னை பார்த்திங்கனா ஆர்டிக்கல் வந்து பப்ளிஷ் பண்ணியிருக்காங்க தூர்தர்ஷனில் வந்து லைவ் ஷோ ஒன்று கொடுத்துருக்கேன் சன் டிவியில் வந்து நியூஸ் சேனலில் வந்து என்னை பார்த்திங்கன்னா ஒரு ஷார்ட்டு ஒரு ஸ்டோரி மாதிரி எனக்கு போட்டிருந்தாங்க ஸோ இதெல்லாமே எனக்கு வந்து ஒரு பெரிய ரீச் கொடுத்துச்சு அப்படின்னு தான் சொல்லணும் அது பா அதுக்கப்புறம் வந்து நிறைய கிளப்பில் இருந்து என்னை கூப்பிட்டு அவார்ட்ஸ் கொடுத்துருக்காங்க இந்த வெஞ்சர் ஸ்டார்ட் பண்ணி செவன் இயர்ஸ் ஆகுது நான் இது வரைக்கும் வந்து வெப்சைட் ஒன்றும் க்ரியேட் பண்ணதில்லை பெருசாக வந்து சோஷியல் மீடியாலையும் ப்ரொமோட் பண்ணது கிடையாது இருந்தாலும் நான் வந்து இந்தளவுக்கு இந்த கோவிட்க்கு அப்புறமும் என்னோடய வெஞ்சர் குணாஸ் குவில்லிங் அப்படிங்கிற வெஞ்சர் வந்து சஸ்டெயின் ஆகிட்டுருக்கு அப்படின்னா வந்துட்டு ரெண்டு விஷயங்கள் தான் நான் சொல்லணும் என்னென்னா வேர்ட் ஆஃப் மவுத் என்னோடய ப்ராடக்ட் வந்து ஸ்ப்ரெட் ஆகிட்டே இருக்குது அது போக எனக்கு ரிப்பீட் ஆர்டர்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் த கஸ்டமர்ஸ் ஸோ இந்த ரெண்டு விஷயம் எப்போ வந்து நடக்கும் அப்படின்னா நம்மளோட ப்ராடக்ட் மேலேயும் நம்ம மேலேயும் கஸ்டமர் வச்சுருக்க ட்ரஸ்ட்னால மட்டும்தான் அது வந்து சாத்தியப்படும் ஸோ அதை வந்து நான் தக்க வச்சுருக்கேன் அப்படிங்கிறதே வந்து ரொம்ப ஒரு ஹாப்பியாக நான் ஃபீல் பண்ணிட்டுருக்கேன் ஸோ இந்த குவில்லிங் வந்து எனக்கு வந்து என்னோடய லைஃப் ஸ்டைலே மாற்றிடுச்சு அப்படின்னு தான் சொல்லணும் பிஃபோர் குவில்லிங் அண்ட் ஆஃப்டர் குவில்லிங் ரெண்டு
தெரிஞ்சுது அது போக அவங்க சின்னதாக ஏர்ன் பண்ணுறாங்க அப்படிங்கும்போது அவங்க அந்த ஸ்ட்ரெஸ்லேருந்து வெளியில் வரதை பார்க்குறேன் ஒரு சாட்டிஸ்ஃபைடான லைஃப் லீட் பண்ணுறத பார்க்குறேன் ஸோ நம்மளாலேயும் ஒருத்தரோட லைஃப்பில் ஒரு மாற்றம் கொடுக்க முடியுது அப்படிங்கிற விஷயம் ரொம்ப எனக்கு வந்து இன்னும் கொஞ்சம் என்னோடய கான்ஃபிடென்ட் லெவலை வந்து வளர்க்க ஆரம்பிச்சிச்சு ஸோ ரொம்ப ஒரு பாசிட்டிவ் தாட்டோடையே எப்போவும் போயிட்டுருக்கவர் இந்த மாதிரி நிறைய அப்ஸ் அண்ட் டவுன்ஸ் பார்த்துருக்கேன் லைஃப்பில் இந்த நிறைய ஸ்ட்ரகிள் பண்ணியிருக்கேன் இந்த குவில்லிங்னால் பட் எப்போவுமே நான் சொல்லிக்கிற விஷயம் என்னென்னா நெவர் கிவ் அப் அப்படிங்கிற விஷயம் தான் எனக்குள்ளே நான் சொல்லிக்கிறது இந்த ஒரு பெரிய பிளாட்ஃபார்மில் நான் ஒரு விஷயத்தை இங்கே வந்து சொல்லணும் அப்படின்னு நினைக்கிறேன் என்னென்னா அக்ரிகல்ச்சருக்கு அடுத்தபடியாக நம்மளோட இந்தியாவில் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஹேண்டிகிராஃப்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் ஹேண்ட்லூம் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் தான் வந்துட்டு நிறைய பட்சமாக வேலை வா வேலை வாய்ப்புகளை வந்து உருவாக்கி கொடுத்துட்ருக்கு இந்தியாவில் மட்டும் முப்பத்தி ரெண்டு மில்லியன் மக்களுக்கும் மேலே இந்த துறையில் வந்து ஒர்க் பண்ணிகிட்ருக்காங்க அவங்கள மெஜாரிட்டியான மக்கள் அப்படின்னு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா அடித்தட்டு மக் அடித்தட்டில் தான் இருந்துட்டுருக்காங்க ஸோ அவங்களோட வாழ்வாதாரத்தை நம்ம உயர்த்தணும் அப்படின்னா கண்டிப்பாக நம்ம வந்து இந்த மேட் இன் இந்தியா அப்படிங்கிற கான்செப்ட்குள்ளே வந்தோம் அப்படின்னா மட்டும்தான் அது வந்து ரொம்ப பெருசாக வந்து ஒரு சக்ஸஸ் வந்து நமக்கு கிடைக்கும் ஏன்னா நான் ஒரு ஒரு சின்ன இன்சிடென்ட் சொல்ல விரும்புகிறேன் ஒரு ஹேண்ட்லூம் ஷர்ட்டு ரெடிமேட் ஷர்ட்டு த்ரீ ஹண்ட்ரட் ருபீஸ்க்கு ஸ்டாலில் ஒரு 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 திட்டம் வாங்கினேன் ஸோ அதே ஷர்ட் வந்து ஒரு பாக்ஸ் பண்ணி பிராண்டு கீழே வந்து ஒரு ஷோரூமில் போய் உட்காரும்போது அந்த ஷர்ட்டோட விலை வந்து த்ரீ தௌசண்ட் ருபீஸ் ஏன் இந்த ப்ரைஸ் டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் அப்படின்னு சொல்லி பார்க்கும்போது பார்த்தீங்கன்னா அந்த பிராண்ட் அப்படிங்கிற ஒரு விஷயத்துக்காகவே நம்ம அவ்வளோ அமௌண்ட் வந்து நம்ம ஸ்பெண்ட் பண்ணுறோம் ஸோ இதை வந்து டைரெக்டாக நம்ம சுற்றி இருக்கக்கூடிய வீவர்ஸ் ஆகட்டும் ஆர்டிஸ்டான் ஆகட்டும் நம்ம வந்து அந்த ப்ராடக்டை வாங்கும்போது கண்டிப்பாக இந்த ப்ரைஸ் டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் இருக்காது அந்த மேனுஃபேக்சரருக்கும் வந்துட்டு உண்டான அவங்களுக்கு உண்டான ஒரு நல்ல ஒரு ப்ராஃபிட்டும் கிடைக்கும் அப்படிங்கிறதுனால தான் இந்த மேட் இன் இந்தியா கான்செப்ட் அப்படிங்கிறது வந்து நம்ம வந்து ரொம்ப ஸ்ட்ராங்காக வந்து நம்ம ஃபாலோ பண்ணணும் அப்படின்னு சொல்லி கேட்டுக்கிறேன் இப்போ என்ன ஆயிடுச்சு நம்ம வந்து ஒரு நம்மளோட சோஷியல் ஸ்டேட்டஸை காமிக்கணும்னா நம்ம வந்து இம்போர்ட்டட் ப்ராடக்ட்ஸ் யூஸ் பண்ணுறோம் அப்படிங்கிறது வந்து ரொம்ப இப்போ இந்த ஜென்ரேஷன் வந்து ரொம்ப அதை வந்து ஃபாலோ பண்ணிட்டுருக்காங்க ஸோ அது இல்லாமல் என்னென்ன விஷயங்கள் இந்தியாவில் வந்து மேனுஃபேக்சர் பண்ணுறாங்களோ அதை தான் நான் வாங்குவேன் அப்படிங்கிற ஒரு பிளட்ஜை வந்து நம்ம எல்லாருமே எடுத்துக்கணும் அப்படின்னு நினைக்கிறேன் ஏன்னா எவ்வளோ தான் வெல்ஃபேர் மெஷர்ஸ் வந்து நம்ம இந்தியன் கவர்மெண்ட் எடுத்துகிட்டு இருந்தாலும் ஏன்னா வந்து ஒரு அன்எம்ப்ளாய்மெண்ட் வந்து குறைக்கணும் அப்படின்னு நினைக்கிறாங்க ஆரல்ஸ் வந்து ஒரு ரூரல் எக்கானமியை வந்து கூட்டணும் அப்படின்னு நிறைய ஸ்கீம்ஸ் போட்டுட்டு இருந்தாலும் ஆஸ் அ பப்ளிக் நம்ம சைட் நம்ம ஒரு எஃபர்ட் போடாம இது வந்து ஒரு பெரிய சக்சஸ் அடையாது அப்படிங்கிறது என்னோட தாழ்மையான வேண்டுகோள் சோ இதை எல்லாரும் நீங்க எல்லாரும் ரீகன்சிடர் பண்ணுவீங்க அப்படின்னு சொல்லி நம்பி நம்புறேன் நான் இந்த மாதிரி ஒரு பெரிய பிளாட்ஃபார்ம் கொடுத்த டெடெக்ஸ்க்கு வந்து நான் ரொம்ப தேங்க் பண்ணிக்கணும்னு நினைக்கிறேன் தேங்க்யூ ஃபார் த ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டி கிவன் டு மீ தேங்க்யூ ஒன் அண்ட் ஆல் நன்றி வணக்கம்thank you madam and good morning to all of you i at the outset would like to thank uh, tedx the organizers of this event uh, along with uh, care kalaksal kalaslingam university and all the uh, organizers for giving this opportunity to share uh, some of my and our experiences from the indian space research organization as uh, was introduced i am from vikram sarabhai space center indian space research organization tiruvananthapuram and uh, i don't have to introduce uh, bssc or isro to uh, any of you isro is in the limelight uh, almost for the past 10 years for the right reasons right from uh, 2008 you can say from the first uh, chandrayaan mission chandrayaan 1 onwards we have been in the limelight it was followed by recently couple of years back uh, chandrayaan 2 which was almost a success and we just missed by a whisker and we almost landed on the moon on the um, other side of the moon which has never been done by any other uh, people and uh, you can say the other uh, highlight uh, in isro's uh, uh, achievements is the mangalyaan that is the uh, mission to mars that is actually the first interplanetary mission taken by isro and this is uh, uh, you can say it is a it is a deep space mission 
which which is the cheapest of the deep space missions in the world so far that is uh, undertaken by uh, any country and you can say that um, we have achieved almost all the objectives of whatever missions we have had and you can see that in addition to that we have been um, launching um, regularly pslv satellites uh, gslv satellites uh, or uh, gslv mark 3 along with that so many other satellites uh, inside uh, series of satellites uh, for communication or uh, the um, remote sensing satellites irs uh, series of satellites uh, our major objective Uh, when uh, the isro was founded in the 1960s was um, to uh, serve the uh, country with uh, space science technology and uh, serve the society and develop the technology state of the art um, in the country and uh, along with that manpower and human resource and infrastructure that is the that was the mission and we have been achieving and you can you could have uh, seen uh, last saturday we have launched the uh, 50th of the pslv uh, very successfully with a uh, earth observation satellites so uh, with all these things with so much of money pumped in you can always ask what is the use of that to the nation the major objectives what we uh, envisage or we contribute are scientific achievement then it is a national pride we have been one of the top uh, five space faring nations and all the nations uh, which are uh, you know using space uh, facilities they are all uh, willing to call co cooperate with us collaborate with us to achieve uh, scientific uh, um, pursuits and you can say uh, even nasa from the usa has joined with us in the Uh, chandrayaan 1 and uh, even what they could not achieve we have achieved by finding ice on the moon surface that is the kind of a precision or uh, the accuracy the perfection we work and how is it possible um, in uh, isro yeah, everybody including the prime minister narendra modi always uh, says it is isro culture isro culture means it is always never say die it is always don't get bogged down by setbacks and uh, failures you always analyze the failures very thoroughly at all levels find out the root cause come out of that solve the problem and then proceed with this kind of isro culture only we have come up Uh, to this extent we have been uh, successfully launching uh, more than 50 satellites and we have set records also and we have mm, uh, in one pslv satellite we have even uh, launched 104 satellites in a single shot that is a world record till now till today so how we we could achieve it because of this isro culture that is simply work as a team never get bogged down by failures never get bogged down by setbacks analyze them thoroughly and you can say the review systems at various levels right from the bottom to the top in isro is the best in the country i can say it is one of the best in the world with this kind of uh, uh, participation and contribution from everybody right from the bottom most of the employee to the top um, scientist we are able to achieve this and now you can say that then in, in the near future we are planning to send human to the space already the program is on all the elements every everything including the spacecraft um, the habitat everything is almost getting ready unfortunately because of the covid this has been um, pushed uh, to about a year Pro probably in 2022 we may be sending the first uh, human um, capsule to the moon with two or three uh, astronauts who are uh, getting trained in various places uh, at this uh, juncture excuse so this me this is the level of achievements we have come but now 
having spent all those things from the scientific side you may be asking what is the contribution of isro to the society and to the common man excuse me sir yeah yeah hello uh, sir uh, can you sit slightly uh, away from the camera sir yes because it's it's capturing uh, the either side yes sir thank you that's us now, yeah thank you, you are sir. getting yeah 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 okay now uh, you can say that um, uh, the contributions of isro to the society are in many fold there are uh, satellites that are sent for communication now whatever television channels you are having direct to home television or any other television channels hundreds of channels you are having because of the satellite you know, transponders that are there uh, sent from the isro satellites and there are uh, mobile communication now you can sit at home watch this program uh, through video conferencing or uh, webinar just because of the isro uh, has provided enough transponders in the satellites that are being uh, there in space sent by isro uh, through their uh, you can say launch vehicles and you can say the contributions are in the communication area then remote sensing area then earth observation area the communication area tele television telecommunication you can say all this uh, whatever uh, cable less cable all kinds of communications uh, are, are all through the uh, isro satellite enabled uh, communications similarly remote sensing areas you have many many things to achieve that that include the i can say the you can say resource management disaster management then uh, you can say agricultural management wasteland wasteland you can say um, mapping you can say fisheries sea sea coastal area management everything is managed through the re re remote sensing satellites all these data are um mapped they are all analyzed and then all this information is given to different departments for the usage and you can say uh, the uh, remote sensing has a lot of uh, other uh, uh, um, applications also forest cover or uh, land recovery coastal studies coral or uh, mangrove studies wasteland mapping uh, everything is done forest fires everything is mapped and everything is in uh, record it is all stored uh, shared with all the departments similarly you can say um, the uh, airport authority of india is uh, in collaboration with uh, space or uh, monitoring the space through our satellites for the better use of the space and to avoid accidents now we can say that in indian space Uh, uh indian space area you can say uh, we have minimum number of accidents or uh, mishaps uh, misunderstandings uh, uh, that are happening because of the contributions of satellites that are uh, uh, from the isro isro and similarly you can say uh, the navigation wise you you are having gps systems now there is a constellation of uh, about 30 35 satellites from us we have borrowed their services to have your gps now indian satellite systems are there indian regional navigation satellites a series of satellites are already launched it is there in the space what the gps can do the irnss is doing for indian satellites with better accuracy of even 1 meter resolution so that you can even um uh, spot uh, uh, your car um, uh, number plates with very clear and accurate uh, uh, recording this is the kind of uh, technology that indian uh, remote sensing satellites have already given similarly for the villages there are village resource uh, uh, centers that are being set up and through our satellites all this information is given to the village village resource centers throughout india 
more than uh, more than thousands of uh, village resource centers are there in india and all this information is given and through them training is given another important uh, area uh, isro is contributing is in telemedicine where the big hospitals cannot be accessed by the village people through the satellites the the services of the big doctors senior experienced doctors are contributed by telemedicine through satellite uh, uh, information and communication similarly another important area is tele education where remote areas villages where uh, big colleges and other uh, um, infrastructure cannot be accessed through telemedicine and tele um, satellites this Uh, education is uh, already uh, enabled and many people have uh, benefited uh, during uh, this uh, what do you call uh, initiative and you can see during the covid all of you had uh, remote classes from your houses that is uh, that is uh, enabled only because of the satellites from isro and one of the major contributions of this isro through their satellites during this pandemic period is covid covid mapping that is to find out the covid uh, uh, affected areas through satellites uh, analyze them and uh, give this information to the central government ministry of home affairs or ministry of health ministry at the central uh, government and to many states which are benefited by this Uh, kind of covid uh, monitoring in uh, telangana and andhra pradesh they they are actually using these facilities uh, to distribute vegetables through covid uh, um, you can say non covid areas where um, these um, vehicles and other uh, vendors can move for that this is very much uh, effectively being used even tamil nadu is uh, using these facilities bihar is using maharashtra is using uh, our satellites to map the covid areas and then uh, to take care of these covid uh, what do you call uh, containment zones very effectively this is being done that is another uh, very uh, important and uh, uh, what do you call useful contribution from the um, uh, isro similarly disaster management and flood uh, uh, flood monitoring that is another area where all the rivers all the dams are being constantly monitored by our uh, remote sensing and other uh, earth observation satellites all the um, information regarding their water levels their uh, positions are uh, fed to all the departments and they are all uh, being uh, regularly uh, what do you call uh, controlled or taken care during flood situations and uh, disaster management level even during cyclones all the warnings are given uh, through our satellite information and uh, fishermen are given uh, what do you call uh, waki taki type of uh, communications where uh, the earth uh, or land uh, land based communications are uh, completely cut off due to the cyclone uh, effects that is also one of the very important uh, contributions that is uh, uh, done by the isro all these things are possible because the system in isro is evolved in such a way everybody contributes to the um, what do you call uh, technology everybody contributes to the usefulness of this data and uh, from right from northeast to west to the himalayas to kanyakumari everywhere our uh, data centers analysis analyze analysis centers uh, are set up so that everybody gets benefit out of that that way uh, we can say isro's uh, contributions and uh, what do you call uh, the effectiveness is very very much there in all parts of india and uh, in addition to that isro has contributed in the infrastructural development because all these uh, satellites launch vehicles or technologies cannot come overnight hundreds and hundreds 
uh, thousands of uh, industries all over india right from big industries like uh, godrej or uh, lnt or uh, other uh, big industries are what is hal these kind of industries are participating in addition to that thousands of uh, msmes small and medium scale industries are also part participating and contributing by that way isro gives lot of employment human resource skill development and infrastructural development is being uh, being uh, encouraged in the country that way isro is contributing not only directly but uh, indirectly also to the benefit or the growth of the country all these are possible because of the isro culture i would like to emphasize this again and again because all these young people like you who are participating today should get into this kind of inculcate this uh, culture which is being quoted everywhere as i told this is never days never die uh, never say die uh, spirit never get bogged down by defeats you you have to move on to your goal set a goal and move towards it with a lot of determination with uh, all your uh, resources all your energy and don't get uh, upset by the setbacks they will be coming but sit calmly analyze your uh, uh, data your uh, uh, what do you call uh, reasons for the setbacks then try to overcome them and then proceed forward this is what is happening collectively in isro what is called as isro culture so this is the message i would like to uh, give it to the uh, participants here now i would like to end my talk with a quote from the father of our space uh, uh, in the country dr vikram sarabhai in 1970s even when the um, program is not fully started he has actually Uh, he is a great visionary and he has uh, visualized what is going to happen uh, some 50 years back as as of now what is happening he has predicted 50 years back i will uh, read his quote and then complete his uh, complete my talk quote if we are to play a meaningful role nationally and in the community of nations we must be second to none in the application of advanced technologies to the real problems of man and society unquote this is what he said some more than 50 years back and this is what i think uh, isro has achieved and uh, contributed to the nation with this i would like to end my talk by thanking the organizers again uh, for giving this opportunity to share my or i can say our experiences from isro and uh, to try to uh, what do you call uh, encourage all the young participants like you thank you very much thank you sir yeah. thank you so much thank you for the uh, plethora of contributions that has been done from the part of isro to the society and your contribution to that thank you so much sir So now we take a break and meet you all at 1:45 pm sharp. Thank you.
Thank you.
Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Hope you all had a very good lunch. We have been listening to stories of success right from the morning. And eight more to listen. Now, music has volumes to speak. But it needs the right soul to explore music to the fathoms. Here, we have a distinguished musician who aspires to teach the younger generation a lot. With pleasure, I hand over the platform to Mr. R. Uma Shankar, the famous musician from Rajapalayam. So please. Pada mulai ini lah, pelbagai pelbagai jenis kita dah kasut kan. Over pelbagai jenis itu punya neuron tu. Over tu reza ada pelajaran ini nama pelajaran arah itu bodoh, neuron itu sel pada arah itu macam mana? Kadar nama, kalau nama mass pelajaran, kanan itu pada pelajaran bodoh. Mulai ini punya, over pelbagai jenis itu punya neuron itu sel pada arah itu macam mana? Hari ini pada pelajaran bodoh, inilah pelbagai jenis itu neuron itu sel pada arah itu. Ilat kian literature pelajaran Inilah pelbagai jenis neuron yang saya pernah alami di dunia ini. Jangan ikut dengan macam mana. Apa ini? Nama, mulai irkan kuli ya. Semua pelbagai jenis irkan kuli neuron ni lah. Orang yang kita saya pernah ikut kuli ma. Orang yang kita lah, semua ini saya aktifkan pernah kuli ma. Kuli. Macam ni. Pada nama kuli. Isai kerja bahasa cakap kuli. Orang nallah isai kerja kuli. Ini nak cakap apa? Mula ini thalai sila kita bina ni macam mana? Padu boleh, orang teri isi kerja biasa pun boleh, nalla isi ikat pun boleh. Awang mula ini perisod ikhaya, bina ni macam mana? Saya dah lakukan pelbagai macam itu punya neuron tu. Brain ni tu punya, saya dah lakukan pelbagai macam itu punya neuron tu. Semua orang yang telah aktif itu ada macam mana? Isi ini orang yang lama ni pati ya. Nama orang macam tu. Kurang tu boleh la, na ada orang parti kekiran la, ini cuma ni la. Isai kait pada ini kerana kurang tu boleh kita orang macam ni. Kudi dah ada, kurang kurang tu yang dua hari kita orang macam ni, na isai kait pada ini. Apa? Mula ini mula ini la, sahaja nuran ni la, apa? Kutu nanti kita orang macam apa? Ada ni, isai kerbau macam ni, nalla isai kait ni. Wajib kita orang macam ni la. Parti kerja tu mana? Ini sih kerja biasa kita tu mana? Baik kerja kita ni ada kerana nampaknya ini sih kerja. Muda ini orang yang sahaja lah pergi ke lembu, tujuh hari siapa yang kuli? Apa tu mana? Ini sih ya. Yaitu mana perlu ni kerja mana? Yaitu mana perlu ini sih kerja tu mana? Nenek kerana mana? Yaitu mana perlu ini sih baik orang baik. Nampaknya ini orang solawa. Mana dia orang yang mana dia lagi? Mundur ni kita kuli ya. Apa tu mana? Malam ini kita tu ini sih. Sila pada orang yang kekum boleh, orang manusia itu ada orang sehingga orang sehingga mara itu ada orang chemical reaction mara yang mara itu terima. Ipan aku dah nak tanya dia, kerana apa yang sendiri itu lah. Tahun ini sendiri, solat pada hari ini kerana apa yang sendiri itu. Nih kerana apa yang sendiri itu solat pada hari ini. Tahun ini sendiri, tahun ini sendiri siapa yang jadi orang itu bunyi. Anjir ada tu lah manja. Sila pada kekum boleh manusia itu mara itu mau apa mati ni. Anda agak terlalu swasta, anda terlalu banyak orang ni. Kalau mati mana sahaja orang tu, kita kerjakan apa? Pergi pada orang ni. Musabika pada sa, sa da pada sa pada sa, da sa itu apa? Apa? Thank you. 
தெங்கல் காற்றில் கொஞ்சம்
இறங்க சுவரில் உள்ள ராகங்கள் எல்லாமே காஞ்சி பண்ணாங்கன்னா குறிப்பிடப்படும் தோடியோ அல்லது சிவரஞ்சலியோ எது வேணாலும் எடுத்துக்கலாம் இப்படி புண்பட்ட ஒரு உடலுக்கு ஒரு நோயாளிக்கு மருந்தாக கூட இசைய பயன்படுத்திக்கிறாங்க அப்படின்னு நம்ம சங்க இலக்கியத்தில் வந்து படிப்பேன் சங்க இலக்கியத்தில் அந்த காரணம் நடந்த கதையை நீங்கள் சொல்லிட்டுருக்கீங்க அப்படின்னு கூட நீங்கள் கேட்கலாம் ஆனால் ஒரு வரலாற்று உண்மை சொல்லுவா இரண்டாம் உலக போர் முடிய போற நேரத்தில் அமெரிக்காவோட ஏராளமான போர் வீரர்கள் வந்து பாதிக்கப்பட்டாங்க அவங்கெல்லாம் ஒரு மருத்துவமனையில் வந்து சிகிச்சை எடுத்துக்கிட்டாங்க அந்த போர் வீரர்களுக்கு சிகிச்சை கொடுக்கும் பொழுது அமெரிக்காவில் இருக்கக்கூடிய இசைக்கலைஞர்கள்லாம் என்ன பண்ணாங்க தெரியுமா அந்த போர் வீரர்களை எப்படியாவது நம்ம சீக்கிரம் குணப்படுத்தணுங்கிறதுக்காக அந்த வீரர்கள் பக்கத்தில் உட்காந்துக்கிட்டு நோயாளிகள் பக்கத்தில் உட்காந்துக்கிட்டு அவங்களுக்கு பிடிச்ச இசை கோர்வையை எடுத்து வாசிக்க ஆரம்பித்தாங்க பாட ஆரம்பித்தாங்க சேர்ந்து இசைக்க ஆரம்பித்தாங்க ஒரு ஆட்சியில் நடந்தது தெரியுமா வெகு சீக்கிரமாக அந்த நோயாளிகள்லாம் குணமாக ஆரம்பிச்சாங்க இதை அந்த மருத்துவர்கள்லாம் கண்காணிச்சுக்கிட்டே இருந்துட்டு என்ன செஞ்சாங்க தெரியுமா அந்த இரண்டாம் உலக போரின் முடிவில் அமெரிக்காவில் இருக்கக்கூடிய எல்லா மருத்துவமனைகளிலையும் மிகச்சிறந்த இசை கலைஞர்களை வேலை வச்சுக்கிறாங்க இது நடந்தது ஒரு மருத்துவருக்கு இணையாக ஒரு டாக்டருக்கு இணையாக மருத்துவம் செய்யக்கூடிய வல்லமை இசைக்கலைஞனுக்கும் உண்டு அப்படிங்கிறத நிரூபித்த விஷயத்தை தான் இப்போ நான் அப்படி சொன்னேன் இது ஒரு வரலாற்று உண்மை அப்போ புண்பட்ட உடலுக்கு ஒரு மருந்தாக இருக்கக்கூடியதும் இசை தான் இன்னொரு முக்கியமான வரலாற்று பற்றி சொல்லவா ஆயிரத்தி தொள்ளாயிரத்தி நாற்பத்தி அஞ்சில் தென் கரோலினா அப்படிங்கிற நாட்டில் இருக்கக்கூடிய சார்லஸ்டன் அப்படிங்கிற ஒரு நகரில் ஒரு போராட்டம் பண்ணுறது புகையிலை தொழிலாளர்கள்லாம் ஒன்று சேர்ந்து போராட்டம் நடத்தினாங்க ஊதிய உயர்வு வேண்டி கூலி உயர்வு வேண்டி போராட்டம் நடத்தினாங்க இப்படி போராடும் போது வழக்கமாக எல்லாரும் போஷன் தானே வைப்பாங்க ஆனால் இந்த புகையிலை தொழிலாளர்கள்லாம் ஒன்று சேர்ந்து பாட்டு பாடினாங்க என்ன கேது போராடும் போது பாடலாமல் பாடுவாங்க அப்படின்னா அந்த புகையிலை தொழிலாளர்களுக்கு தெரிஞ்சிருக்கு என்னன்னு இசை ஒரு மிகப்பெரிய போராட்ட கருவின்னு தெரிஞ்சிருக்கு சொன்னால் நம்ப மாட்டேங்க ஆயிரத்தி தொள்ளாயிரத்தி நாற்பத்தி அஞ்சில் அந்த போராட்டத்தின் போது அந்த புகையிலை தொழிலாளர்கள்லாம் ஒன்று சேர்ந்து பாடின பாட்டு தான் அதுக்கப்புறம் உலகம் பூரா பரவி எல்லா பள்ளிக்கூட பசங்க பள்ளிக்கூடத்தில் படிக்கிற மாணவர்களின் முதல் கொண்டு எல்லாருமே இப்போ அந்த பாட்டை பாடுறாங்க பள்ளிக்கூடத்தில் கல்லூரியில் இருக்கக்கூடிய என்எஸ்எஸ்னு ஒரு 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 திட்டம் இருக்கிறாங்க என்எஸ்எஸ் அப்படிங்கிற ஒரு திட்டத்தில் அந்த திட்டத்தினுடைய முக்கியமான பாடலாகவே இந்த பாட்டு தான் இருக்குது இந்த பாட்டு ஆயிரத்தி தொள்ளாயிரத்தி நாற்பத்தி அஞ்சில் புகையிலை தொழிலாளர்கள் போராட்டத்தின் போது பாடினாங்க அழைப்பு 
துணி ரிங் டோன்னு சொல்லுவோம்ல ஆங்கிலத்தில் எல்லாரும் என்ன பாட்டு வச்சுருந்தாங்க தெரியுமா ஒரு திரைப்பட பாட்டு வச்சுருந்தாங்க எனக்கு கூட அந்த பாட்டு ரொம்ப பிடிக்கும் சிக்ஸ் ஸ்டீ ராமம் அப்படிங்கிற ஒரு இசை துணி பாட்டு பாட்டு எல்லாருடைய ரிங் டோனாகவும் அந்த பாட்டு இருந்துச்சு ஏன் அந்த பாட்டு இருந்தது ஏன்னா அந்த பாட்டினுடைய மெட்டு அத்தனை பேர் மனசுக்கு கிடைச்சது கண்ணார கண்ணே கண்ணார கண்ணே நன்றி ஐயா ஒரு மனிதனின் ஆதி முதல் அந்தம் வரை பயணிக்கும் இசையினை தட்டி எழுப்பியமைக்கும் நன்றிகள் பல The managing director of Kerala State Industrial Development Corporation is just an official identity for this IAS officer whereas his real identity lies in the word a humanitarian yes the guess is right it's the former district collector of ernakulam mr mg rajamanikam so we love to hear from you Uh, all are requested to wait for one minute. Uh, Sar is joining uh, with us. Uh, he is facing some network issues. Uh, within uh, two minutes, he will be addressed and he will be joining with us.
Our speaker is joining us soon. He's trying to resolve the network issues. Thank you so much for waiting patiently. Please keep on waiting. He'll join us soon.
dear listeners really sorry for the trouble sir is still working hard to resolve the network issues he'll be joining us soon Yes, listeners, sir is joining us soon. Sir, good afternoon, sir. Ah, uh, uh, hello. Uh, would you be able to hear me, please? Uh, yes, sir. Please, sir. Please, sir. Oh, sorry for all uh, fiascos. <laughs> okay, sir. Anyway, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. Sir, you can start, please, sir. Already we invited you because of time delay. Uh, you can start now, sir. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Sir, uh, sir, please switch on your camera, sir. Sir, I'm not going to come on the phone. Sir, one second, sir. I just I'm uh, we are unmuting, sir. Sir, please, sir, you can proceed, sir. Okay. So, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, uh, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Once again, I mean, sorry for uh, the technical uh, delay. And in fact, I mean, it's, uh, I'm very, very happy to, I mean, uh, join today's, I mean, talk. Uh, I think uh, as far as, I mean, uh, Kalasalingam is concerned, um, this is, I mean, my second talk. But with uh, TEDx, this is the first one. In fact, uh, I mean, uh, is uh, really very, very uh, happy to, I mean, uh, talk on uh, the subject, which is, I mean, related to the, I mean, uh, COVID. Uh, to be very frank, like, I mean, uh, uh, when we think of, I mean, uh, COVID. So, when we think of a COVID, everyone actually uh, is like, what do you 
ओके ओके सॉरी आई मीन टुडे आई मीन दे वेर आई मीन आस्किंग मी टू टॉक आई मीन रिगार्डिंग माय कोविड एक्सपीरियंस एज वेल एज आई मीन आई एम वर्किंग इन केरला presently my designation is director of industries as well as kerala state industrial development corporation md and the straight away if i mean uh, if i share my i mean experience if i say like i mean uh, everyone uh, must have undergone i mean uh, this difficult time period because corona has thrown upside i mean uh, down the entire not only state or not only the country the entire world is upside down now and one more thing which i mean if you can see as uh, anecdotally if you see Uh, corona is the not the uh, new disease or rather it's not a kind of this kind of a pandemic is not new to the world actually in fact if you see the history of diseases i mean throughout the world or throughout the world history if you see in 14th century around 1350s there is a big bubonic plague because plague was then very very i mean uh, a dreadful disease which affected al- almost 10 crore population have died at that point of time and uh, in fact one out of every uh, people must have died at that point of time there was a very even in the history today it is called as a black death actually so if you take i mean that into i mean kind of india uh, as far as india is concerned india also faced such kind of a situation there and then like i mean in 19th century that is around almost the close of 19th century that is in 1890s actually india also faced i mean kind of a bubonic plague and uh, in fact if you see that i mean uh, today is i mean uh, if suppose somebody is following up with the current affairs if you see the epidemic disease act which is passed in 19, 1897 which was passed by the bombay municipality then by one ayan rand who was i mean then the commissioner of the i mean pune municipality so that was a very very what is that a horrible time in which like even because that bubonic plague that time the britishers when they ruled the country in fact uh even uh, they were allowed to strip the clothes and see that whether they have a bubonic plague such kind of a uh, horrible things have happened in the history whenever i mean pandemic or diseases have happened but as far as 21st century this i mean corona or covid is concerned if you see is like i mean technology is at the peak i mean our health i mean uh, i mean standards or the health facilities are at the peak so but still we are all passing through the toughest time in the history because i mean you can see the, the disease yet to be i mean uh, uh, we have to uh, find a vaccine or the successful vaccine is on the way only so it's always i mean uh, problematic as far as the corona is concerned but here i mean i would like to address i mean uh, before uh, the august uh, gathering is like come I in mean, uh, see everyone financially or rather health wise in all sense like come I in mean, everyone has affected with the corona but the problem is like i mean uh, it is not i mean the corona or it is not about anything else a society is a successful society or society is i mean uh, rated as a civilized or the best or kind of a developed society is the one how the society is respond to such kind of a diseases or such, such, i mean such kind of a crisis so is any good time any honeymoon period that anyone can enjoy but the thing is that whenever i mean society faces a crisis as a society how we are over, overcoming such kind of a crisis or disaster that matters or that i mean denotes i mean how best or how good the society is or rather we can say the survival of it is say as far as that is concerned today society especially i mean uh, everywhere in the world but including india all the states everywhere we are just i mean surviving because of our i mean kind of a social comprehension or social cohesion so Uh, i would i mean uh, rather i mean if you see uh, since i mean i have been informed you that i am working in i mean uh, as a kerala cadre officer i could see the resilience of the society kerala society if you see 2018 kerala was i mean uh, was facing a serious flood is i mean entire kerala was flooded entire economy was down and subsequently in 2019 also kerala faced a flood and not only that in 2019 we have had a, i mean a typically similar kind of a corona type of a disease called nipa virus which i mean actually kerala has controlled in the origin place itself otherwise it would have been another i mean uh, pandemic would have happened in the entire global level but i mean kerala contained this virus the origin place which is calicut itself and then subsequently corona has come even within the corona everyone must have i mean watched very recently the news of uh, i mean uh, air crash i mean uh, in uh, calicut airport or by landing the air, i mean aircraft was i mean crashed 
almost lot of people have died actually so such kind of a series of disaster or series of problems i mean a society is facing but still uh, kerala as a society is a resilient society it has i mean uh, overcome all those things have come forwarded not because of the government alone that is what i mean i'm i want to insist and that is i mean going to be my talk also the government is one part of the society in the sense like government can facilitate government can help government can provide resources but at the same time whenever i mean in the mass whenever it reaches to the mass it's the social our uh, society is very very important uh, kerala is also i mean um, overcome all those problems not because of the government alone but because of the vibrant so i mean uh, social volunteers vibrant society vibrant residents association so basically speaking a social volunteership or social force is a very very important as part of the kerala democratic society they contributed in a lot of way i mean as far as this covid is also concerned i want to here make one small anecdote in two minutes and i'll just come back i mean to you to the corona uh, this was the time is around 2015 i was the district director of ernakulam the famously called as a kochi so 11:30 pm the very famous cardiologist of i mean uh, kerala one dr josh chakko priyabram is i mean calling me and he wanted to meet me urgently at late night at 11:30 since i know that, that that he was a damn busy doctor and one of the very famous doctor i mean in okay doctor please come so he came to my resident at 11:45 pm in the night and then he was saying like sir there was emergency in the sense uh one person i mean who is I mean, already i mean declared brain dead and we need to i mean take whatever i mean organs from him so that it can be distributed to seven people seven people's lives can be i mean led actually if the i mean organ is i mean made available to us but the problem is the all the persons who are i mean the receiving end is in the kochi that is in ernakulam the person who are going to brain dead or i mean declared brain dead is in the trivandrum almost 300 km away which will take almost 4 to i mean 5 hours i mean road travel it's late in the night 11:45 in the i mean night actually he said sir we need only once the operation started once the organ is taken so within 2 hours it has to be fitted in another person otherwise it is useless so we have the gap of only 1 and 1/2 hours to 2 hours in which that we have to take organ and i mean uh, i mean fit it to the other persons so uh, he said only possibility is that now only here because before uh, morning he is brain dead already within 6 or 7 hours he has to be operated upon and otherwise that will also be waste so he said only possibility is that we need to bring some i mean kind of helicopter or aeroplane or something like that 12 o'clock in the night where i will go for the helicopter so so suddenly i thought okay i'll just because the navy uh, navy has a helicopter so i just immediately spoken to i mean uh, the uh, admiral the commander there in charge of uh, navy at kochi he said i mean absolutely navy is i mean very happy to help but the problem is that helicopter can operate only during between sunrise and sunset mean 6 o'clock in the morning and 6 o'clock in the evening only the daylight the helicopter can be operated otherwise helicopter helicopter cannot be operated so that is i mean uh, thing he was uh, talking about at that time so what has happened then immediately so helicopter is not at all possible then i thought like this is beyond my control i immediately called the honorable cm of kerala late at night thing like that so considering the emergency situation he picked up my call and then he said okay he spoke to the defense i mean minister then in i mean government of india and immediately aircraft naval aircraft is i mean uh, set up because helicopter only needs i mean uh, daylight but uh, i mean uh, kind of uh, 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 for a aircraft i mean no timing is required so immediately we arranged the aircraft 3 o'clock in the early morning like i mean aircraft went from i mean naval base from kochi to trivandrum it reaches almost around 4 435 something like that operation started then so immediately after operation started that i mean that organ has been taken and then came here within one and a half hours it came here so what uh, why i am saying this anecdote because once it reached back to the ernakulam i mean uh, naval base we need actually we calculated 20 minutes to reach the hospital so 150 so again he has to be operated upon so 20 minutes so earlier we announced though yeah, this is going to come so entire i mean the city was that 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 time was silent in the sense that the, nobody was in the i mean uh, road so within 7 minutes the 20 minutes calculated period has been reduced to 7 within 7 minutes that uh, i mean uh, heart which is i mean going to be operated upon 
reached this place that fellow was fitted with the heart and uh, successful was uh, operation was successful that gave birth to a i mean concept called air ambulance in india this was the first time that we have i mean had such kind of so why because uh, why i am saying society a vibrant society means because all this i mean through uh, this uh, transportation arrangements everything is taken care by the social volunteers of the kochi actually so i am seeing like come I in like that only in covid also when you see the kerala there are two phases during lockdown uh, during lockdown phases as well as the post lockdown phases in the lockdown phases actually speaking like i mean if you see kerala has invented a lot of concept as far as the covid is concerned say for example during lockdown everyone must be knowing that i mean even in the distance of distant imagination that we would never thought like i mean this kind of i mean life we will lead actually like wearing mask social distancing even going to any anybody's place even important i mean the deaths of the near and dear ones also a lot of people are not able to come no marriage marriage is very simple so all kind of uh, unimaginable things are happening i mean uh, because of the road uh, that is a i mean positive as well as the negative side of the covid actually so kerala also during the lockdown everyone was suffered so suddenly one lockdown is announced wherein that no food whether we don't know whether we would be able to get a groceries we will be able to i mean even lead a life actually that kind of a situation was life and death i would say life and death situation was happened at that point of time during the lockdown so then in government of kerala what we have decided is that okay no single person should die or no single a single person should be in hunger because of the i mean covid lockdown so government of kerala immediately decided okay we have to make a community kitchen i mean kerala is a very very vibrant society in terms of a community so community kitchen immediately started we have a 1031 1034 gram panchayat municipality and corporations very next day the community kitchen is started after all government has only helped in finding out the resources and providing a materials cooking other i mean uh, firewood or gas and reaching i mean all these places say for example i mean uh, apart from i mean cooking food there is another important thing you have to understand at that point of time there are a lot of people who are daily wages who are lot of people depend on the day to day i mean wages actually they don't have a money to purchase so government of kerala decided so community kitchen means that there are three type of arrangement have been done here one is like i mean say for example those who are having money but they don't have a food and materials to i mean purchase another i mean group of category wherein that they don't have a money at all but then that the self pride to ask somebody like i don't have a food provide i mean provide me a food i mean stops i mean human being to ask kind of a begging so another kind of a third persons is like i mean very very vulnerable in the sense very old senior citizens they have money and as you know everyone that most of the carolites working in gulf and other countries their parents are here alone so they have money but they don't know how to i mean get materials and all those things so this three kind of a category so government decided immediately we form a social volunteer force we call it as a samuhika sanada sena in the sense like i mean the social volunteer force will we gave a calls at free i mean uh, toll free number in which that anybody can call i mean say, they can say that we are five persons if we need a food so the particular local bodies will deliver the food at the i mean doorstep and if you want to give money you give money we will take it if you don't want to give money we don't even ask the money we just simply keep the food and just like that 86 lakhs food packet have been served in a month actually only by, by the help of the social volunteer i mean of course and they are unpaid they just came only as a volunteer i mean uh, here to serve the people at that point of time so why i am saying i mean uh, this because so government is a kind of a one hand unless and until the society also contribute equally to i mean whenever the crisis happens that is what i mentioned during my introduction talk the society is a vibrant society society is called as i mean kind of a civilized society only when whenever they are facing or we are facing a crisis how we are responding how we are cooperating how we are coordinating that matters i mean to the society that way kerala during the lockdown as i said the community kitchen is one very very important thing another one i mean in fact i mean uh, to deviate from the topic during the i mean uh, lockdown we have had a lot of migrant laborers i was mentioning about there were i mean all, most of them in kerala especially young age population working in gulf and other countries especially as nurses as well help healthcare workers so here i mean in, in fact naturally the void the gap is filled by the migrant laborers from other states like from tamil nadu a lot of people are working most of the people from bihar orissa west bengal and lot of people, nepal all people are working and as everyone knows during the lockdown that everyone wanted to go back to home because of the fear 
and because these people are working here in a daily wages manner so they no work no not even a food in fact this entire people almost more than 5 lakh people have been taken care of till because no single person till i mean government of india has announced the train to go back to their i mean state nobody demanded because of the i mean care given by the social volunteer of kerala in fact to that extent government of kerala very innovatively we thought and we implemented some of the schemes like say for example this north indian worker especially what they want they want of food what we prepare in the community kitchen is a kind of a rice kerala rice and they can't take it so what we decided is that immediately we gave i mean kind of a uh, wheat flour and other materials to these people supplied through the social volunteer force and they prepared their food on their own in fact to that extent they asked i mean all the migrant laborers we call it as a guest laborers here so all of them in fact asked i mean uh, they want a carrom board because they don't know how to pass the time they want a tv in fact all these things have been mobilized i mean uh, as a donation and supply to all to that extent i mean everyone will laugh at it to that extent we provided 120 rupees to each guest laborers just for top up of their phone because their only connection back to the family is the phone cell phone so they don't have that money also so 120 rupees each i mean uh, guest laborers were given 120 rupees each for i mean a top up of their phone so that they can continuously talk so that at least they will be happy at least they are talking to the i mean family actually that is how in a month the, we just i mean stop migrant laborers like as we heard in i mean other i mean places in the india people were walking for along with all those things It did not happen in kerala because of all these initiatives this two during the lockdown this two anecdotes of this this story is why i am telling because because of the social volunteers of the kerala they came forward even because it is unlike the other situation like flood or any other situation volunteers can go and i mean do some kind of a work physically but corona is already is a very dreadful disease and everyone is fearful of going it but still lot of people thousands of people lakhs of rather lakhs of people have come forward as a volunteers here in kerala right from trivandrum to kasaragod they did wonderful job as far as kerala is concerned today when kerala was i mean at that point of time seeing as a model for the entire state in terms of containing covid in terms of serving the public in terms of welfare activities not only because of the government but because of all the volunteers that we actually so once some I mean, in lockdown is passed and then post lockdown had come so post lockdown had come and we had i mean uh, faced another problem in fact uh, everything is open i mean all the people are i mean started coming in in, uh, in fact compared to other parts of india kerala faced another problem in the sense as i said lot of family I mean, laborers or lot of people working abroad they all wanted to come back so we repatriates flow has i mean come in cases have been increased in fact very recently i mean i was appointed as a incident commander for uh, uh, coastal area of the trivandrum district why because coastal area if we test one fellow every fellow in fact almost 60 to 70 percentage of the people got the covid in the coastal area and these people are all fishermen they all depended on their livelihood only by catching the fishes every day and government decided yes because we coastal area has to be contained otherwise the spread will become very very large government of kerala decided to go for a complete coastal lockdown in the sense that entire people has to stay in the house they don't know how long it is they i mean as i said they are the fisherman community their only livelihood is to catch the fish their in, even their food is based on the i mean uh, fishing activities i mean in fact i mean uh, government i mean uh, decided like okay we take care of in fact we innovatively invented like i mean uh, community fishing only two three uh, fishermen were allowed to i mean uh, fishing uh, this place and then in fact uh, they, they i mean we handle that also using the social world is very well. and in fact almost my time is over the stories or whatever the kerala story i'm talking about during the covid time is nothing but that uh, is because of the social volunteers and volunteers who have contributed i am i mean appealing to the august gathering here or most of i mean your students i mean or uh, you are working the only thing is that i mean uh, what i am i mean appealing here is that everyone must be i mean knowing i mean most of you from tamil nadu also must be knowing a movie called alavandan which is i mean acted by uh, kapilagasan there is one song which says that kadavul paadi mirukam paadi kalandu seida kalavai that means like i am half i mean animal and half a godly i mean uh, this is equally applicable to everyone and anthropologically speaking human being is called as a social animal 
because we cannot live like i mean uh, like anybody we need we need we, we need to have a society a vibrant society is to support all the time it can be called as a family it can be called as a friends it can be called as a whatever so anthropologically we are called as a social animal unless and until we contribute back to the society at the difficult time we cannot be called as a kind of a human being because the social animal means that there is a half society and half animal if we, if we don't do anything for the society we would be best uh, or better termed as i mean kind of only animal because there is no difference between animal and human being where is the difference come difference come social animal only comes where we are part of the society we are understanding society we are contributing to the society so today what is happening in the cosmopolitan our flat culture i mean started i mean coming in we don't even know that who is our next door neighbor we don't even know that who is staying next door i mean flat actually so that such is a situation which is happening so i am appealing to the, all the students apart from the technologically you are all very vibrant you are knowledgeful person you are the youngsters you are going to lead the society you are going to what's a change the society in future what i am appealing at this point of time is that see everyone is undergoing a lot of difficulties but what we can simply do as a society is that because i as i said kerala is a vibrant society means that it has a history in tamil nadu or any part of the society how we can make a society vibrant nothing we don't need to do a lot of things we can do a very very simple things like say for example if somebody is elder staying in your flat because they are very vulnerable population during the covid you can simply help them i mean whenever you go to grocery shop you can simply ask them that whether you need something or not so wherever we are as a part of the society we can contribute lot to the society so that is where the difference between animal and social animal matters and i hope all of us are i mean being a social animal we contribute to the society also whenever i mean the crisis comes otherwise normal time everyone will take care in a good time everyone will take care whenever that crisis is there that is the time when we need definitely help of a person or the society so i request or appeal to all of them at least i mean at this difficult time everyone will overcome there is nothing i mean uh, there is i mean as everyone used to say changes is the only thing will change definitely the, the covid situation changes so everyone i mean uh, need to contribute to the society some or the other way not as a i mean group even as a individual that you can i mean taken care of society that is what i mean at this point of time is required and uh, uh, finally i would i mean conclude with saying that uh, uh, the yadum ure yavarum kele this is a very famous saying a 2000 old uh, year old kanyan pongundana saying every in the world everything is i mean our own place and everybody is our own relatives so that concept of uh, vasudeva kunumbagam aspect mentioned in the sanskrit and yadum ure yavarum kele is the one means everyone is going to be our relative so at that point, i mean uh, contribution that we need to do as i mean uh, society as the students as a human being that is what i mean i want to i mean uh, mention and appeal before you and in fact i mean i know that, that i mean it's over short of time uh, thank you so much for the wonderful opportunity thank you thank you sir when we invited you we specified a tag humanitarian and turning back the pages of uh, your own experiences and the struggles that your state and you all have come together you have taught us a lot sir thank you for spreading the hope of humanitarianism in us so this is learning the real learning life has chosen some of the best individuals to be its messengers teaching the nuances of success and humanity and what's really amusing is we've been listening to experts from various domains since this morning now all speeches drive home the point success is at every doorstep we have to identify it and yield to hard work and that's when our thoughts become big our dreams come true thank you experts thank you one and all for those magic mantras of hard work and thank you all supporters thank you listeners uh thank you supporters on and off the campus of kalasalingam academy of research and education thank you one and all and meet you sometime in another chapter <laughs>